This is VIP Lounge for NY Elite Magazine, doing exclusive red carpet interviews for the filmmakers, the stars, and the VIPs joining us for the International Filmmaker Festival of New York. Join us and welcome. Welcome, it is my pleasure and honor to be here with the Honorable Congressman Mark Jonai. Thank you for being part of the festival and supporting us this year. Well, thank you for having me. It's another fantastic evening, bringing the arts and the culture to New York City and adding to its fabric. It's a wonderful night for all of us. And this is especially meaningful because we do have films from around the world to be part of the culture and art scene here in New York City. Our community has a lot to offer and it's just fantastic that we could do it on such a stage as New York City and express ourselves and share a bit of our traditions, culture, but also our talent and gift. And it's just a remarkable evening. Well, thank you everything that you're doing for our community. Tell us a little bit more about what projects and what priorities you have for this year. I'm excited about the future for the Albanian American community in particular. Um, one, as we stabilize and create a stronger foundation for ourselves here, it's just incredible to see that we've never forgotten our homelands, that we continue to give back and encourage that we give back. So the philanthropy, the generosity of this community uh, and the loyalty that we have, not only to our community here, but our homelands is remarkable. And it's a, it's a privilege to be a part of it. This has been the most humbling thing that I've done in my life. And watching this community flourish and continue to grow in so many different industries and areas is fantastic. Absolutely. And for us, you are a symbol of pride, of success, of hard work. What have been your principles of success throughout this journey as you started many years ago to the, where you have reached now and doing such wonderful work for us? I guess it's uh, how we're brought up. As a people, we believe in hard work and it's that hard work and when we commit ourselves and we dedicate ourselves to the task at hand, we excel. I, I credit my family for their strong work ethics uh, that have given me the drive and this great opportunity. Uh, you know, this is the American dream. That American dream that you come from a land not knowing the country that you're arriving in, you're not knowing the language, the traditions, um, but you're able to work hard and prosper. So the American dream is that next generation that they start becoming a part of the mainstream fabric and giving back in other ways. So whether it be politics, whether it be medicine, whether it be in a classroom or on a stage as we see tonight, yeah. we're always giving back and it's a fantastic feeling. Um, Honorable uh, Congressman, you have uh, uh, a huge following from the community. Uh, what have you seen some new creative ideas or innov innovation or businesses flourish up uh, as a result of the support that you're doing and all the wonderful work? So we're at that part, we're at that phase now as a community that as we continue to grow, uh, and we've in four major industries, construction, real estate, restaurants, and uh, tenement buildings and large commercial buildings. Now it's about bringing those players together so they can benefit from purchasing together, building back on the bulk purchase discounts. I'm um, looking forward to working on a pet project which is going to be our, our own bank someday. Being able to really build on the successes so that we can benefit from one another and leave a stronger future for the next generation, something that they can continue to grow on. Uh, and it's an exciting time for our people. It's an exciting time for our future. Uh, it's a wonderful place. And we are absolutely at a better place because of everything that you do. And finally, what have been maybe your three key issues that you have taken to heart, you know, in addition to all the it's other simple. ones that you have been adding on? Preserving our language. That's key for me. Uh, we opened up the first full dual language school in New York City. It's actually the first one in the country where half the classes are offered in English, the other half are offered in Albanian. And that continues through elementary school. So they walk in kindergarten, and for the next eight years, they're learning both languages. So that's preserving our language while we learn the American language, and it's a fantastic way that we keep our culture, our traditions, our rich culture and traditions alive. And it's done through language. Absolutely, and it's definitely building that bridge, like you said, connect, connecting yeah. our culture and helping those that are already here to fit in, to uh, do well, succeed within the United States, as well as represent Albania or whatever part of uh, Albanian and background that, they have. And then that bridge is to reciprocate. Yeah. So we should have students from here 
going back to our homelands and the students in our homelands come into this country so they can experience life. And finally, what is your final uh, message to aspiring filmmakers or people that uh, see United States or New York City in particular as the city of their dreams? Dream big. All things are possible. Continue to strive and work hard. It'll pay off. And there's so much talent out there that would be tragic for it to be lost because of missed opportunities. Nothing comes easy. So expect to work hard and that sweat equity will pay itself off. Thank you, it's been a pleasure. Thank you again.